How can I love somebody else if I can't love myself enough to know when it's time, time to let go? Say, all I really want is to be happy. Find a love that's mine, it'll be so sweet. All I really want is to be happy. Find a love that's mine, it'll be so sweet. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Ty, and y'all know that song. That's a song by the queen of hip hop soul, nine time Grammy Award winning, hit making, singing, acting. Mary J. Blige, and I'm singing Be Happy because I just got through watching her documentary, My Life, which is, the focus is on her second album, which is also titled My Life, which came out in 1994. I remember when that came out, too. I remember when that came out. I was a big, I still am a big Mary J. Blige fan, but I am a big Mary J. Blige fan. I remember the first album, 411, she hit us with that. You know, I love that album. Then she came out, can she, what can she, what's she going to do next? She came with that second album, the remake of I'm Going Down, You Bring Me Joy was on there, Be Happy. So many bangers. And on Amazon Prime now, we get to see this documentary where she discusses the making of the My Life album. And we get a little insight on Mary's life. Some of the, some things I knew already, things we, we learned some more things here. But before I get into that, let me give a shout out to my people that be holding me down in the comment section. Y'all know who y'all are. I'm talking about June BLC, Lamont Simpson, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, God, you know, you know your name. Simply Be Yourself 100, Penny, Ativ, all those people, Miss Amor, Savannah Rivers Amor, all those people. And we have a new subscriber, Rahamadan Hamas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And come on, y'all, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Come on down here and leave some comments. Let's discuss this documentary if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, you need to take your way on over to Amazon Prime and watch Mary J. Blige's My Life documentary because it is really good. I really enjoyed it. So, as I was saying, Mary takes us inside her life. Of course, like I said, this is the second album, but in this documentary, we get to see how she got her start. We get a little bit about her youth, and we learned that um, it was a little rough for her growing up, and, you know, she grew up in the projects, and sadly, her parents divorced, and that affected her, and she watched things probably think she shouldn't have witnessed at a young age and a lot of things were going on in that time period a lot of drugs and violence and things of that nature and singing was her outlet and she also mentioned you know that song everybody likes the sunshine by Roy Ayers that is the song that she sampled for her my life the title track on her if you look in my life and see what I see, la da 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 da. That's a dope song too. That's a dope song too. And she said how it was something about that my life, my life, my life, my life in the sunshine. And I kind of fell back because she was like, you know, that song would do something to her. But she was saying how just hearing that sunshine, she needed some sunshine in her life. So right there, you know that Mary has some darkness going on in her life. So. We learned that. Um, also, while making this album, you know, they, they also went back to how she got her start. You know, like I said, Mary was not afraid to sing. Mary did this demo at the mall, and she did Anita Baker's Rapture. Caught in the rapture of love, no one else can compare. That's the jam, too. She did that, and that demo got in the right hands because her stepdaddy knew somebody who knew uh, Jeff Red, and they got into the right hands, and Jeff Red handed it down to Andre Harrell. Rest in peace, the late, great record exec, Andre Harrell. Um, and then he heard it, went to Mary, and that's how Mary got her start in the music business. But for some reason, she never felt like she was good enough. She never felt like she, because she was rough around the edges, 
she didn't believe in herself and she had these great people that believed in her. They they discussed her relationship with Puffy. Um, who's in this? Uh, Tyler Perry's here discussing her. Alicia Keys discusses her influence, how Mary influenced her and what Mary's music means to her. You have Taraji P. Henson. You have some of the producers that worked on the My Life albums, such as Chucky Thompson and Big Bob. And that was good to see, too, and seeing Mary react to some of the songs that she recorded and some of the lyrics to those songs and things like that. Really good documentary. Um, also, I, I, liked the, um, I liked how she had concert performances in there, and we got to see... We got to see and hear from some fans. And, you know, I guess, you know, when that album came out, the album was a banger to me. I enjoyed it, but I didn't realize how many lives it touched and how many people it moved. I was younger, so maybe I wasn't going through anything to relate to. I didn't relate to the album with all the things that she was going on. Like, I was in high school when the album came out, so I didn't relate to her pain. I just thought, damn, this is a great album. And I just enjoyed the music and the songs and the melodies and things like that. I was like, this is a good album. And I enjoyed that. But now that I'm old, I'm like, wow, I'm learning more and more about all these different women. And some men, too, who said that that album changed their life. That album changed their life. That album saved their life and things like that. And that's good to hear that, you know, that music can touch and move you like that. And that must be a great feeling for her to know that that her music moved people in such a way you stop somebody from wanting to kill themselves. That's amazing to me. That's really amazing. But um, uh, what was I going to say? That album, um, that album was fire to me. My favorite songs off the album were, I mean, you could play that album all the way through, but my favorite songs, I did like, I like Mary's Joint, but my favorite was Never Want to Live Without You, because I used to like that breakdown. Baby, won't you stay with me a little more? Oh, I used to play that. Let me tell you, I ran that CD in the ground so bad I had to get another one because I had to scratch it. Y'all remember the days of CDs? You scratch it, then it starts skipping on something, so I had to go get another one because now it was messing up my, you know, messing up my jams. I'm trying to jam, and it's like, eh, eh, it's scratched. So I had to get another one. But that, never want to live without you. And, um... What was the one? I told you once before that I loved you and I need you. But let me tell you once again that you got to believe that was my joint. And to hear the story behind that song, you know, and the story behind a lot of these songs on the album was like, wow. Because, you know, you got to believe that I'll, I'll never hurt you. She was hurting. She was suicidal. She was yearning for love. They also mentioned her relationship with um what's his name KC and that was funny the little scene they showed where they showed a young KC when I had no idea that he started out as a kid and had some like gospel album young KC and the Haley singers or something like that and he had this <laughs> hilarious hairdo but then you know that's that's how it was back in the day but just seeing all that and seeing how, you know, they showed an interview where somebody asked with Case asked Casey if he was gonna marry her. He was like, No, I ain't marrying her. And you could see she was kind of humiliated by that too. So Mary's been through a lot, but she's also a strong woman. And she's also it's this document so she showed that she's strong, though she's been through a lot, that she perseveres, she perseveres with her music. She tells you everything about her with her music. And one thing I liked about Mary, which they also mentioned here, is that she's very raw. Even her vocals are raw and rough. And you feel it. You know what I'm saying? You feel it. You feel her lyrics. You feel the songs. And like I said, none of that was personally going on with me. But I felt the songs. I enjoyed the songs. And I'm telling that that was my joint. That I got to go back to that. That... You gotta believe, you gotta believe, gotta believe in me. Oh, I love that song. That, that's my jam, right? That whole album, that whole album, though. That whole album is just really good, good. But yeah, I really enjoyed the documentary. I mean, I don't want to get on here and start rambling. But, oh, I know one of the highlights I liked. I like the fact that she said, when she first got her start, one of the songs that she recorded or as a demo 
was Anita Baker's Rapture because she loved that so much. She did that just as a little fun demo. And that song got her her deal, right? But then what I like is they showed the footage of her actually singing with Anita Baker. And that was very inspiring to see that people's dreams can come true. So overall, I thought the documentary was awesome because it's showing that your dreams can come true. Come, bleh, girl, look, I'm getting all tongue-tied because I'm excited. But showing that your dreams can come true um, that there's people that do believe in you that can help push you and push you, push you and bring you to greatness. And that's what they did here with Mary J. Blige. So, like I said, check it out. Mary J. Blige's documentary, My Life. I ain't going to be on here too long rambling because not so much more I can say. But yeah. And I know you're like, he just got to sing everything. Yes, I do. That's what I do. I got to sing everything. But those songs, you got to believe. Um, Baby, won't you stay with me a little more? That used to, I'm telling you, see, I'm repeating myself. What else was on there? Um, oh, you bring me joy. That was nice, too. Um, da -da 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 -da. All night long. Like, they, they did, she did it with that album, because that album did a lot of sampling of already great jams and recreated some songs. So that's why I enjoyed that album. But like I said, I'm rambling here. That's all I got for now. Let me get on out of here because I'm starting to repeat myself. Let me get on out of here. Thank you for watching. Tell me your thoughts on the My Life documentary. Did you enjoy it? Like I did, because I definitely enjoyed it. I'm about to get off this thing and go play some Mary J. Blige. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.